Hey everybody, it's Master Gallon Guys here, bringing you my review of Steve Rogers Captain America issue 2. So, this issue kind of explains the whole thing that's kind of going on with Steve Rogers and the whole Hail Hydra thing. Now, my whole issue with this is that Nick Spencer said that this was pretty much Steve Rogers, there's no mind control or whatnot. Granted, it's not traditional mind control, but I don't like the way this was handled because it could have just been like, we'll let the story kind of explain itself. People still would have been ticked off at saying that this is Steve Rogers, who's pretty much full-heartedly into Hydra. It It's done more, in my opinion, for gimmick and sales than the actual story. But, issue two kind of clears up what's kind of going on story-wise. So, this is pretty much all backstory and kind of exposition for what has happened. It's mainly the Red Skull that's narrating, talking about how Steve Rogers has always kind of like bested him in all these kind of different ways, showing like the Cosmic Cube being destroyed and COVID being created. And evidently it had kind of formed an attachment with the Red Skull because after he was kind of doing his thing, actually showing like in here where he had forced all of his cooks to pretty much commit suicide with his telepathic powers, he was kind of lamenting the fact that he had had Charles Xavier's powers, and then it makes stuff kind of too easy. So, Kobe comes in and says, uh, hello, and everyone's like, ah, freaks out, and his daughter tries and take her out. She's like, oh, that's not what you should look like, and kind of fixes her face. And we find out that it's partial to the Red Skull because it feels an attachment to him with its sentience. So he pretty much guides her to being... That Hydra is good, and it's a dangerous thing, seeing that she has changed Selvig's memories to that he was always a Hydra agent, effectively changing how he's been working. He's not really Hydra, but she's changed his memories to the point that he believes that he's Hydra. And this is where it kind of gets into the Red Skull's mind, too. Of course, he was the mastermind pretty much behind Pleasant Hill, having Kobik influence Selvig to that, and be like, hey, she could change people's memories and all that. Let's do Pleasant Hill. And be like, oh, God, this would be a great idea. And it's like, he, he played into his enemy's weaknesses. And he pretty much orchestrated it to the fact that Steve would be in this place and that Kovic would bring him back to his former glory and pretty much change his memories to be Hydra. Now, that is an interesting tactic for the Skull to take. I would have thought he would have wanted Steve to... It's more in the Skull's realm for me to believe that he would have changed other key peoples around Steve to Hydra to then have Steve of his own free will do it more than do implanted memories. That's kind of more my take on the Skull. And it's still a good kind of way for the Skull to do this, but I would just think the Skull would do it in a more way that Steve Rogers would actually do it his, of his own volition to pledge to Hydra than to change memories to make him pledge to Hydra. It's kind of the same thing as him using telepathy to pretty much change his mind to do it. That's just my opinion. Overall, it was a pretty good issue. The art was pretty good. Some faces are kind of weird, but it was... Really pretty, pretty good. There wasn't much action in this issue. It was more just setting up what the Skull had done, what his plans are, that he has also been messing with Zemo's mind to a degree with his telepathic powers, which kind of explains why Zemo has been acting a little bit stranger than usual, in my opinion. So, I'm excited to kind of see where this is going to go, though I've still twinged with the fact that they tried to pass this off as Steve Rogers is Hydra. You know what I mean? It's it is a hard thing to sell, and the main thing that's going to be judged on for this is how the execution is going forward, and how when we'll finally get Steve back, the true Steve and everything, and what's going to be happening in other issues and in other kind of places now that this is taken into effect. So those are my opinions on the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, also like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.